Hey guys, welcome back to the last episode of The Flipping for Stubs. If you have not watched the last few episodes, the first episode I basically showed you the flip quickly, flip a lot, like huge quantity amount of cards. I showed you that flipping strategy. And then the last episode, I showed you the flipping strategy of getting a lot of profit, but flipping for less time. And in this one, we're going to do kind of a mix of the middle and I call it the meta 2.0 because the first meta I had was the one I showed you. And now this one is the same thing, except a little higher quality cards, a little more profit, but you do have a little bit of kickback on the cards flipping for a lot and flipping for a little bit less so it's kind of the middle of the first one and the second one so if you'd like to watch that stick around So as I said in the intro, this one I call Meta 2.0. The first one, which is I call the 111 flips, is kind of you buy them for really low and cheap and you sell them for really low and cheap. And then the last episode I showed you where you basically flip high tier cards. I call them ride cards where you, you know, 1,000, 2,000 uh, sell now cards and flip those. And then this one is kind of the middle. And this one, we're going to kind of flip cards that are a little bigger in the sell now price but also sell a little faster in the buy now price so kind of a mix between both of them right now it's really hard because again the market is pretty flooded with the brand new cards out again i am recording this on july 5th this might i mean obviously this episode's coming out after july 5th so there should be more in this but i want to show you kind of how i came up with this strategy and how i kind of use it and how many stubs you can expect to get by doing this strategy so basically what I do now is I knock down the uh, sell now price to 25 usually those types of cards do not come on this but if you ever do find a card that comes on this list make sure to pick it up and sell it quickly so basically what this is is a card between 25 and 60 in the sell now price and then the buy now price will be 160 to 300 to make sure that you make that profit back so just a little bit to show you what you want to do right here this is the perfect card that you want right now you can buy it for 42 and sell it for 212 and let's open it up and see what type of profit you get obviously it's a brand new card or nobody has it because it's at a very low overall level so this isn't really a card that you want to spend like 20 stuff or 20 buy nows on but it is a card that you could flip five or ten maybe and and possibly get a good return from it so going over to his card looking at it now you can see that uh it's selling for about 213 210 and selling for about 42 so let's go ahead and put in a buy now price for 43 and i will show you what we can flip it for hitting about 213 213 sell price would be about 192 so we get about 150 off of this flip if we get it for 43 and if we sell it for 213 again i believe this is a either new card well 622 well well 619 is, is is when it was introduced to the game and lately though it seems like it's still even with the the slip there it seems like it is getting a lot of traction here and it actually seems like it's been selling for higher so this number is actually a really good point in buying this at this price so let's go ahead and add a few buy orders what i would do is start with five kind of like i said with the rest of them start with five see if it's selling if it is selling quickly go out get 10 of them i wouldn't go much over 10 because this could slip fast and be back down to like a 90 and then you're gaining basically no profit for it at all but i would i would do go ahead buy five see how they sell again right there boom we already got one now let's see how fast we can sell these for hopefully we could pop around and sell these for you know five in an hour and get about 150 profit in that hour span if we could sell 10 that's over a thousand five hundred profit a hour multiply that by 24 hours you're looking good at around thirty thousand 
and a 24 hour span and it, I, you know it's not going to be exactly that but that's just one card if we do this with multiple cards and that's pretty much the strategy for all of mine is basically yeah you i don't like the strategy where you go out and buy a twenty thousand dollar card and try to flip it for thirty two thousand and get maybe a six thousand dollar profit off of it or six thousand stub profit off it what i do not like about that is the fact that you are limiting what you can do and writing on the fact that something like what happened on the third when they released all these cards if you sold that card before the third if you sold a twenty thousand dollar for thirty two thousand dollar card for the third you did great you made a killing that card overnight when the third or whenever they brought all the new 99s in those cards dropped drastically and that's what i'm talking about you could have lost a crap load whereas the little cards yeah i might have, i might have lost like maybe 13 stubs per little card but those big cards dropped 20 40 000 stubs overnight so again you are riding the market is just like a stock market where you go in and you get out and you go in and you get out and you try to get a profit from trading and selling and stuff and that's just how this goes. The trout card went from 350,000 to 280,000 overnight. You lost 70,000 stubs if you held on to your trout or if you had a, a, a sell order on him. Say you bought him for 320,000 and then you're trying to trade him in and sell him for 350, you lost $40,000 or 40,000 stubs overnight. So that's a thing that I don't like selling the big cards i don't like buying and selling of the big cards and you have a lot of stubs wrapped up into it you have a ton of stubs wrapped up into one card and if that card ends up going bad then you're kind of screwed you lost out on a big profit and basically you held on to a card and wasted stubs for it so that's why i'm doing with this one most of mine are kind of lower and and selling a bigger quantity of them this is something that you could probably do about once every or do an hour out of every 24 hours and get pretty good profit if you have the three hours to spend a day you know give and take here and there hour here hour there i would do the very first one that i showed you where basically i flipped a ton of stubs i flipped a ton of low tier cards for a low tier price but i sold so many of them that i gained thousands and thousands and thirty thousand a night this same thing is here you're gonna want to buy 10 of them 12 of them and flip them before they drop down and keep in mind these cards are as you can see veteran legends like there's only so many of these cards right now which is kind of why you got the high buy now price but you also have the high sell now price that might change as we go here's another card justin adams i don't know if this card will last much longer being at 197 so we want to take advantage of it now and it looks like wow we actually have a few of them so let's so let's go ahead and try to see if we could sell these i did not realize i already had some of these cards in here and at a 72 i don't know why i have so many of these cards but we're gonna go ahead and try to flip these guys and sell them for pure profit i think i must unlock them in the game so it's kind of one of those things where you just get cards as you play this must have been that because i don't know why i would actually go out and try to get these cards but as you can see here in the trends it looks like it's dropped yesterday and then today at midnight it went back up to 109 so 63 is a sell now i know 109 right now it is crazy high i'm expecting it to drop so be careful when you're when you're investing in here be careful of what it can drop down to i'm gonna go ahead and try to buy three of them and see where it goes from here if i can get three of them and flip them for 181 you're looking at a pretty nice profit not as much profit as that andrew card but go ahead 181 163 so basically you're getting 110 give or so off of this if you get it for 52 sell it for 181 you're getting about 110 per flip and if you have like an hour an hour and a half this is probably the best way to go and know the market i said it in every single episode know the market know when it goes up and down i think it will even tell you when it goes up and down if you go to the show zone it'll tell you when it goes up and down and that's kind of how you know when to buy and sell middle of the night is the best time i think to buy them and in the middle of the day is the best time to sell them because what happens at the middle of the night there's not as many people on 
we're talking after midnight not many people on and the price is usually let's say you know let's say this normally this card buy now price is uh is 48 right now it's a little higher than 48 it's 52 it's not that big a deal right now because they're lower cards but in the middle of the night this card may be down to a buy price of like 160 and the sell price is down to like 38 that's the time when to buy it at 38 and then flip it for what you want during the day that during the day so many people are on trying to sell cards and see i would sell for 199 because i would think during the day sometime it's going to hit that 199 spot and it's right before a huge quantity of 200 so you know this person at 200 sold some because obviously you wouldn't keep it at 200 if it didn't sell there so 199 would be the best place i think to try to flip this card for during the day when you're not on you buy them for 52 buy them for 38 like i said in the middle of the night and then flip them for 199 which would in turn give you 179 if you bought it for 38 you're getting 140 profit now you multiply that by 10 you're getting about a thousand four hundred profit uh, per hour and then obviously you're doing more cards so basically what you need to know about any of these strategies is you are getting these cards you're flipping them either right away if you need to flip a lot of them you're flipping them right away or if you don't really have as much time to go into flipping and stuff you are buying it you're selling it for a price where you know it will hit during a 24 hour span and then when you get on the next 24 hours or the day later you're going to have all of them hopefully all of them sold and then you're going to repeat the process over and over again and boom easy 20 to 40 depending on how hard you work how much you move around 20 40 000 stubs in a 24 hour span honestly it's crazy you want to make you want to make a profit of at least 10,000 stubs in a 24 hour span if you if you really are flipping right you can easily make that 10,000 stubs in a 24 hour span I shoot for the 20 to 40 some days I absolutely kill it get 80,000 stubs a day mostly with that number one way I showed you in the first video it will be linked in the card above and in the bottom of the description i will have that video as well if you want to go and watch that but yeah this is the third and final way that i flip cards going over them again very first strategy i love and i feel like it works the most and i get the most out of it but you do spend the most time on that i spend about one to three hours throughout the day i'm not saying in one span or an hour here an hour there you know i might spend 20 minutes on it here 20 minutes on it there i spend about three hours on that and i flip so many cards i get anywhere from 20 to 40 to 80,000 stub just on that and basically all I do is buy the the cheap cards like the 25 stub cards buy them for 25 sell them for around 100 111 is kind of what I shoot for that's 75 profit those I buy 20 25 30 30 cards of them sell all 30 in a day boom sell you know probably 10 or 15 different cards sometimes even 20 different cards and your profit is through the roof the second thing i showed you in the last episode is kind of the more set back and watch it go approach you're going to buy cards for 1500 uh, 2000 or something like that and you're going to sell them for a lot higher profit you're going to get about 400 300 400 um, stubs per flip but you're only flipping about 10 of them five of them if you do that with maybe 10 or 15 different ones that again will get you your 20 to 40 thousand and in this episode same thing as basically a hybrid between the first and the second episode it's the cards that are higher than 25 but also sell higher than the 25 ones do because the 25s go up to about 111 these are basically doubled you're basically doubling the price 25 five to 50 and then you are increasing the 111 to about 200 as this sell here basically the same thing it depends how much you time you have how much effort you want to put into it but this strategy is a great strategy if you have an hour an hour and a half to a day kind of going through them trying to hit at night buy them low at night which i feel like at night is the lowest price sometimes during the day it does drop down low and you can get some pretty good deals but at night i feel like is the lowest buy now price and then in the morning or in the morning you wake up you try to be all the stuff you bought during the middle of the night you sell it in the morning like you put a price down and then through the 24 hours when you come back around to the next night 
hopefully you sold all of those cards and the profit is just crazy good this should this strategy should yield you about the same profit with the other one you're pretty much going to sell them no matter what because they're so cheap that everyone just is like i'll i'll do 100 111 no problem that's just 111 steps not that big a deal this one is closer to the 200 300 mark and maybe not as many people would just kind of rush in and buy these cards it will be a little bit of fluctuation in the market and make sure that you you sell as many cards as you can but for doing it for the right price because you won't sell as many in this price range as you do in a lower price range so keep that in mind when you're trying this but if you have an hour an hour and a half you want to make 20,000 stubs with flipping this is kind of the place to go and again what i do in the shownation.com slash mlb20 you're going to come in here and you're going to search for buy now or sorry buy now price of 160 to 300 and a sell now, sell now price from 25 to 60 and you're going to save that search call it whatever you want i call it meta 2.0 because it's better than meta 1.0 which i did earlier and yeah you're going to get these cards and these cards are going to change so you see these four cards here we're going to re refresh and okay it's the same four cards but sometimes these cards will change and if you like what they're doing, if you like how they're flipping, make sure you hit the heart button next to them. They will go into your watch list. And then when you go into your watch list, you'll have all the cards that you're flipping. You'll be able to grab them quickly and see how they're doing, see how they're flipping and all that stuff. So that's how it's done. Comment in the section down below. Let me know if you have any questions about flipping. If you have a strategy that you feel is better, let me know that down below. I'd love to talk about it. And if you have any other questions that I can answer in another video or on the video itself, let me know those down below as well. If you guys liked this episode, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Also, feel free to hit that red subscribe button so that you can see some more MLB The Show 20 content. Baseball season getting close to coming around. It's about to heat up. MLB The Show is going to become even better as we go through the year. Thank you so much, guys, for all of the support. We're closing in on that 1,000 subscriber mark. That is the next milestone we're going for, so I want to say thank you to everyone who has subbed and has been along for the ride. Till next time, Slacker out.